President Eisenhower responded by starting NASA, which retaliated by launching a U.S. satellite called Explorer, and the race for space was on. By 1961, a few heroic dogs and chimpanzees later, the competing superpowers began sending men into space. Short test flights, then longer and longer orbits, prompting President Kennedy to set the stakes for the competition even higher. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. And in 1969, right on schedule, American Neil Armstrong landed on the moon and the intense race for space was over. 